Hello, it's the Tall Turtle back again, and I know I said I wasn't going to do any more update videos, but I decided to go ahead and do the Prismarine and the Dark Prismarine and the Prismarine Bricks for the texture packs. I want to show an update because I am quite pleased with how it turned out. So just off camera where you can't see if I spin around, we have an Ocean Monument and my new textures are in there. So let's have a look and then we'll look at the default textures and compare. So here we go, let's dive on down. So apparently when I started this world, I forgot to turn on cheats, so I can't make a daytime. But that's okay, we don't need daytime down here. But let's get through this kelp and check out this monument with the textures I've created. So if you notice, the prismarine, which is the missing bricks or missing cladding, it changes color. So let me talk about how I came to this. When I was looking at the default prismarine, and you'd back up, you would actually see that prismarine is exposed bricks with stuff draped around like cladding draped around that's falling off and they change colors or four colors so I tried to recreate that myself by having bricks with cladding falling off and then it changes colors so if you sit back here and watch there's like a purple blue green and another green and compared to the other two textures it looks kind of aggressive but by itself these colors are not at all aggressive. It's just the other colors don't change. So while that's changing and you're mesmerized by that, oh, also the cladding changes too. The missing cladding changes as the colors change. And next to that then, while I'm waiting for that to change again, there it goes. And it's random. There are four, there are four textures, but it's random. At least it seems to be random. This one has two pieces missing with the cladding around it. But anyway, your dark prismarine is this stuff here. And then your bricks are this. I was going to actually make bricks, but when you look at a monument, making that look like bricks would be way too much. We already have the bricks and the cladding missing for the prismarine itself. So I decided just to go with stone type texture. And that is actually a picture of a stone in my backyard. Just like this is my chimney in my house with some gravel outside and then this I'm not going to tell you what that is because if I tell you what that is it's totally going to ruin the effect <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is but anyway those are the three textures for prismarine you got the regular prismarine which changes every couple seconds with four different colors and four different patterns of cladding missing and then you got the bricks which is really just like a green mossy stone and then you got the dark prismarine which again I'm not going to tell you what it is because it'll totally ruin the effect no I have not done the kelp or the seagrass I really don't know how I'm going to do that because that would be difficult. Anyway, we'll talk about that some other time. But this is it. This is These are the three prismarine textures. And if you were to make stairs out of it, I think the stairs come out of the bricks, if I remember. But anyway, that's that. Let's now have a look at the default textures, though, since we can. And there we go. That's default. I also noticed some of the... Particles are weird in default, but anyway, that's not why we're here. So there you go. At first, I thought, you know, Prismarine by default looks fine, and then I made my own, and now I'm going back to the default, and I can, to be honest, I can hardly look at the default, especially up close. So if you want to see what I'm talking about with the Prismarine itself, it's changing color by default too, but if you look, if you back up, if you back up to about here, you can see it's like four bricks showing right here. See the bricks showing in the middle? And then like cladding on the side. You can actually see that in there. Not this darker color. But you can see these colors are pretty aggressive too. So you can see how my colors got to be aggressive. But now one is hard to see. But here we go with this next color coming up. See the bricks in the middle? You got four bricks in the middle. And like a diamond shape where the cladding is missing. And that's what Persian Marine, at least to me, that's what it looks like. So that's what I try to mimic. And then, again, here's the dark prismarine by default. I think mine looks similar. And then the bricks don't really look like bricks. Just more, it looks more like decorative rock. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about mine not looking like bricks. But anyway, I want to set this up at a good angle like this. I'm sinking because I hit space too many times. Like this. And then what we'll do is we'll switch back to... Whoa, that was interesting. We'll switch back to my textures right now one more time. And there you go. So I'm quite happy, I'm quite pleased. I'll probably never see these in the game because I'm too scared of ocean monuments. But they're there in case anybody uses my texture pack or they build. You know, it's a community server I'm going to be on with the um, Paul Source Jr. Patreon server. So people might be building with this stuff. And now it'll look awesome. 
I know default texture is awesome too, but like I said in the previous video, I actually get <laughs> migraines from the default textures, just the blocks and the way everything moves and things. Um, it actually triggers migraine, which is why I'm doing this. So there you go, the three prismarine. I know you said last time I was done updating with videos until 113 drops, but if I do decide to do a kelp and seagrass, I guess that'll be another video, but like this kelp doesn't bother me at all. I can look at this, it doesn't bother me. I like it. You go through it quickly enough. Um, it's kind of mesmerizing. Seagrass, I don't know. We'll see. So, if, because never say never, obviously, because here's a video I wasn't going to make. If I do another update video, it will be seagrass and kelp, if I get around to it. But this was just to talk about my three prismarine textures. And we're going to change. We'll let this change back to a more colorful, suitable color <laughs> that's easier on the eyes i'm trying to say there we go that's how i'm going to leave you that's a beautiful color i'm going to take my own screenshot i'll catch you in the next video